Hello, I'm Steve. Uh, I'm going to start a little series, a little different from just the field geology that we usually do, you know, showing you the rocks and structures out in the field. Um, I want to do this because a lot of people think that geology is strictly an academic endeavor. Behind me, geology, what is it good for? Well, it's good for a lot of things, actually. It's the only earth science that deals with the entire planet over the entire age of the solar system. Um, as where meteorology, um, climatology, uh, biology, uh, oceanography, and all those other sciences tied into geology or the earth sciences deal with more or less recent happenings in uh, geologic time and generally deal with only the inhabitable area of the planet at present. Geology goes far back before that. It goes back to the beginning of the planet and deals with the entire the entire planet, not just what we see, look, and walk on every day. And that's key because geology isn't just the study of rocks, but that, that's the definition of geology. This actually does have a practical purpose to it. And that's what I'm going to show you in this miniature series is the practical uses for geology. Okay, what you see behind me here are individual disciplines of geology. This is by no means all of them, but it's a good chunk of them, and it's most of what most people study if they get advanced degrees, uh, master's, PhD. Um, the three in red, mineralogy, stratigraphy, and structure, are perhaps the key to all these others. Because without these three and a firm understanding of these three, the rest of these mean nothing. And you can't, uh, petrology is based on mineralogy. Geochemistry and geophysics, yeah, it's chemistry and physics. But if you don't know what you're looking at in the subsurface, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, paleontology, based on stratigraphy, glacial stratigraphy, and so on and so on. Hydrology. Um, is a combination of all of these, etc., etc. Now, I'm going to sit here and take you through these three core concepts and how they apply to geology in the physical world and how we use them in a practical way to do th other things on the other list here, like economic geology, um, geoengineering, geosocial issues. So let's get started in the three core concepts. This would be the intro to the uh, mini series I'm going to run. And I am, it actually took me a while to decide which one of these to start with. So basically, we're going to start with uh, mineralogy because all rocks are basically minerals. So we're going to start with mineralogy. <laughs> 